Well, we've got a, a fox trapped in the shed and apparently it's trapped in some wire in the shed. So I'm not quite sure what kit we're going to need. Hello, do you have a fox trapped in the shed? Yes. Just it's a on one hind leg. Oh, one hind leg. Very okay. tight. Is it? Yeah, okay. he got so frightened. Of well, I can see the injuries. It looks very tightly constricted by one of his legs. It looks incredibly tight. I don't really he's mangy as well, which is a slight worry. What I want to try and do is grasp him so when I finish, he can't leg it at great speed. All right, Foxy Dogs. How he's got stuck around that is absurd. I'm trying to get the fox out without damaging the lady's lawnmower, which is going to be quite interesting. Um, I'm afraid he's already bitten through the mains cave here by himself. There's nothing I can do about that. That was not me. I'm innocent. If I can get this handle off the lawnmower, it might give me a bit of slack to play with. Okay, now I'm getting somewhere. That's it. Now the pressure's off. All right, fella. You could have done this if you tried. Okay. Well, he doesn't know it yet, but he's out. So before he knows he's out, just need to get him grasp so he can't escape, which I've now done. Now I can move that out of the way. I can put the ladies of my back together in a minute. But it has made the leg swollen, and because he's got mange anyway, he'll have to come back into the centre. And we'll see how much damage it's done to the leg if it's been shut for too long. Then obviously there's going to be a constriction problem. It's um, boy. One fox contained without me being bitten. That's a bonus. Do they know how long he was stuck? Uh, probably not more than overnight. I'm hoping there's not going to be a serious constriction. In Toes are nice and warm. Yeah. I'm still very swollen. Pretty so what I'm probably going to do is shave that bit so that we can really keep an eye on it. Yeah. So I'm not going to clip it right to the skin just so that we can see what we're looking at because sometimes these injuries take a few days to really show themselves. Having clipped it you can really see how how red it is. If this tissue dies here then there's nothing you can do to stop it so what we don't want to see is that going sort of black and hard tomorrow. I'm just going to put some of this lovely gel on it today just to keep it moist while the skin is hopefully healing. You can see the mange all around this area. It's really common to see it on the rumps of foxes. They quite often get sore patches over the bony hips as well. His heart's really slow. Quite wheezy as well. Well, he's having antibiotics anyway for any secondary skin infections that they have from the mange, which is also going to help with his um, chesty breathing there. And then this is the treatment for the mange. They have to have this every week for three weeks. And then the final treatment will be a spot-on treatment before he goes free, hopefully if that leg's okay, we might only have to keep him a couple of weeks. Well, we've done all we can for now. He'll be with us two weeks. He'll be very lucky, probably three weeks, but he should go out in a lot better state than he is now. It's just a matter for the next 72 hours of keeping an eye on that wound, because that is absolutely critical. Tiny little house. How do you like it? One in the corner is just non-stop stuffed his face <laughs> since he got here. Like, oh yeah, Liz's face is wicked. <laughs> ow, ow.